Hello and welcome back for another episode of Mindfully Making a Difference. I am your hostess, Dr. Rhonda L. Hamilton, and I just wanted to come before you on this wonderful, pleasant Giving Tuesday and share some perspectives. You know, as a community, we're not always so eager to give or support causes that we may realize are worthy, worthwhile, and necessary. So let's talk, shall we? As the executive director of a mental health advocacy agency in the District of Columbia, yes, the nation's capital, um, I work on the ground along with my team and my many uh, community partners, which have spanned Uh, everywhere from the clergy or church community to the police community, other fellow activists. There is some serious work that is being done on the ground in the nation's capital and surrounding in the midst of a pandemic. Our homeless situation is beyond out of control. And one of the challenges that our agency faces as mental health advocates is trying to raise the consciousness around the conversation of mental health while simultaneously trying to be support systems for the many citizens who have so many complexities surrounding mental health and unresolved trauma. These are conversations that in our community we're comfortable having. Many of our citizens are receiving their care, their soul care, from governmental understandings and resources. And we're concerned as mental health advocates when we see citizens living in unsatisfactory living conditions. And the word unsatisfactory is very kind. I don't know how many of my listeners out there are living with rodents. I mean, think about that. Think about if you had to live day in and day out, raising your family, cooking your meals, managing your emotional matters, depression, you name it. And also understanding that you're living with rats, rodents, and bugs. And then for many, That's not the only challenge in their living. Can you imagine as cold as it is outside here in the nation's capital and surrounding that there are folks that are challenged seniors, not folks, seniors. Let's personalize this. Children. Our community members and fellow citizens living with no heat You might say you don't have to worry about it because you don't have to live like this. Well, I prepared this message for you because it is important for us to truthfully, truthfully ask ourselves if we don't care about the matters and issues and members in our community. Who's going to? I mean, really. Many of us have a love-hate relationship with politics, meaning that we know we, we're supposed to vote. We get it. Many of us, we know the history. We may not know it, know it, but we get it. Slavery, you know, all the marching and Martin Luther King. You heard the story time and time again. But still, we choose to allow our emotions to take us out of doing what's right or keep us from doing what's right. Sorry about that. And what I mean by that, we get mad and we decide there's nobody to vote for. So we're not going to vote. Not realizing that by not voting, we're doing as much damage to the members of the community that are living in these God-awful situations. 
Somebody's got to come to their rescue. We can't truthfully believe that government is providing our citizens with the level of care, our low income, our no income, our severely challenged, mentally deprived and diminished citizens. Our citizens that are living with the guns going off daily, our children experiencing death day in and day out. Matters of trauma are existent in the communities all around us. And for many families, they don't have the luxury of driving out of the neighborhood and into their home in the suburbs or into their well-dressed neighborhoods or their well-cared-for neighborhoods. Their realities are their realities. And as a community and as a people, Giving Tuesday gives us an opportunity to be able to show some level of support, care, concern, validation that you know somebody's out there doing the work. Because let's face it, if not us, then who? And if not now, then when? Our dear Mr. George Floyd, God bless his beautiful soul, and may he ever rest in peace, lost his life. And whatever, whatever your take or rationalization is for why that occurred, many folks don't want to touch or talk about the discrimination or racism understandings. I personally feel that is a breakdown of mental health because to hate on that level, to operate on that level as a human. See, we have to start holding ourselves to higher standards, in my opinion. Welcome. (laughs) Welcome. This is uh, Dr. Rhonda L. Hamilton. Welcome back for another episode of Mindfully Making a Difference. And today's subject matter is simply consider this. Consider this. We're talking about the reality of many of us not acting on our understandings. Of knowing that there is a void and a deficit in our communities. You see the news stories just as we do. We all play a role. Some of us are financiers, some financiers, I should say. Some of us are activists on the ground. Some of us are elected officials and public officials. Bottom line is we all have a role to play. But we must hold ourselves accountable. Giving Tuesday gives you the opportunity to support a worthwhile cause and a genuine organization or agency or individual out here doing the work. As an agency of mental health and of African American origin, it's challenging to come before our community and to ask for support. Because we come from the community. We get it. We know how many times we've been let down, the distrust, and the fact that you don't want to give to something that you don't believe that is really going to um, use the money appropriately. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room. See, we've got to be able to talk about these uncomfortable understandings so that we can get past all of this. Because the truth of the matter is, as I said to you before, You know somebody's doing the work. And when we don't vote, when we don't support our local organizations, when we don't speak up, validate, and and, and acknowledge that mental health is real, we not only let our communities down and our families down, we let ourselves down. You don't know what's waiting for you around the corner. You don't know what your journey 
will render. Why not just develop habits that would allow you to understand how you could be more supportive of organizations that truthfully are doing the work? Because this mental health is real. And this pandemic, this pandemic happened at a time in our society where we needed to understand the reality of what we're living. But my God, a pandemic and death, we never need to be reminded of being better people or the humanity of it all. We should never need to be reminded by having to experience something so, so traumatic as losing our loved ones during this pandemic. The reality is that we're all humans. We're all going to leave here one day. The truth of the matter is that we have opportunities day in and day out where we can make different decisions to help influence our journey, to help enhance our journey, or to just do the human thing and support. Mental health is real and you shouldn't have to wait for it to touch your family in a traumatizing way, a violent way, a suicidal way. You should not have to wait and be reactive to the approaches that we can take to address these understandings. We need to become a proactive community And today on the Mindfully Making a Difference podcast, on this Giving Tuesday, I'm asking you to consider this. Consider that it's going to take you and all of our listeners to help to support the consistent, comprehensive, well-needed outreach service linkage, programming, resources, you name it. Families are hungry. And I get it. Why should you care? But a better question is why should you not care? We're all subject to having life find us and not be prepared for those moments. And I'm asking you to just consider, just consider for one moment that if this was your reality and life has found you, wouldn't you want help? I served because for many years I didn't have answers to the questions. I had many wonderful people around me. And I had some not so wonderful people around me. I was a confused little girl. I didn't understand fancy words like schizophrenia, but I understood crazy. I didn't understand the arguing and the fighting and the um, abuse, substance abuse for many of you. You know, I've lost my father to his opioid addiction and coming to terms with that is that my dad's story and our journey and my mom's continued plight with her schizophrenia. I've come to the point in my living of realizing that the best way that we can mm, the best way that I can truthfully carry on the legacy of my dear father, my hero, and my beautiful mother is to pay it forward and to share our encounters with members in the community, our listening community, our local community, our national community, 
Guys, it's important that we help to acknowledge folks that are going through it. It's important that we help to acknowledge families that are struggling. It's important to realize that the definition and understanding of mental health, it it transcends what we understood it to be yesterday, all these fancy words. The reality is, is that a family that's hungry and cold with nowhere to sleep or live are going to have a roller coaster of emotions, but most importantly, <clears throat> the traumas that they're exposed to in that journey. The reality that a depression could settle in so deep. Think about it. You're a child having to be dragged from shelter to shelter. Maybe they have a bed, and then some shelters won't allow you to go in with your parents. What are you going to do when you get the call? Someone you know sleeping in the hallway. Or someone you don't know sleeping in the laundry room. This is Dr. Rhonda L. Hamilton. And on this episode, on Mindfully Making a Difference, we're asking you out there on this Giving Tuesday to consider this. Just consider this. Consider that it's going to take all of us to do something. Sometimes that doing something is volunteering. Sometimes it's taking a call, sharing a meal with someone who didn't have a meal, sharing a ride with someone who needs a ride, paying it forward on some level, On this Giving Tuesday, we're asking you to consider becoming a part of our angel donor community. It's just something about helping others that helps me realize that my journey and my living has not been in vain. Because why else would I have suffered all those nights? Why else would I have to, as a little girl, grow up faster than I would like to because of all of the horrible things going on around me. As you've heard me mention before, oftentimes we learn that families of mental health usually have stories of abuse, stories of incest, another form of abuse, sexual abuse brought on by a family member. A relative, one in the same, I would imagine. Sometimes a relative could be an in-law. I imagine someone in your familiar circle. Abuse is abuse. Domestic, verbal, all of it is awful. And whether you're a child or whether you are an adult trying to navigate these realities. It's important to know that when you do reach out or in the absence of you being able to, that there is an organization, an individual, community representatives that understand the journey and that will be there to help. Guys, this this work is real. And if you're out there and if you're following the podcast, we appreciate you. We appreciate your support. And we're asking you to consider supporting a worthwhile cause. But most importantly, deserving community members. Our organization is so committed. We're so committed that we formed a coalition of like-minded organizations who also wanted to help improve the quality of life for so many deserving citizens who are faced with not just mental health diagnoses, but also mental health exposures, the threat of their very daily 
lives dwindling, spiraling to a state of mental illness just because there was no intervention just because that governmental program that they've been turning to and depending on for years hasn't helped them to climb out of the cycle that keeps so many families down because this is your hostess Dr. Rhonda L. Hamilton Thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Mindfully Making a Difference podcast where we empower, where we support, and we do not pass judgment because we do recognize that mental health matters. And on this Giving Tuesday, we're asking you to support the work that we do so that we can continue to reach out to the many citizens that in this pandemic and prior to found themselves struggling with the realities of their mental health, their diminished mental states, and their unresolved trauma. Help us to get to another life, another family, another community, before it's too late, help us to continue to build our work on the ground so that we can be effective at stopping all of the guns and reaching all of the families that we need to. Guys, just consider this, would you? On Giving Tuesday, it's important that you give because the donations have the opportunity to be matched. And I'll say it and I'll say it time and time again. If we want others to care about the issues in our community, we've got to stand up and show that we care about the issues in our community. And we can all do something. It's mind over matter. It starts in your heart first. This is your hostess, Dr. Rhonda L. Hamilton. I thank you. I ask that you share this message. I ask that you like this message. I ask that you subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, I ask that you leave a comment. I'd like to know that you're out there, you get it, and that you too are committed to mindfully making a difference. Not just in your life, but also in the life of others. Until we speak again, this is Dr. Rondell Hamilton thanking you for your support of our efforts in the community on this Giving Tuesday. Mental health matters, guys. Remember that. Hold yourselves accountable. Today's a new day. Look in that mirror. Find something positive. Remember that we all have our own personal journeys. And mental health has many layers, whether diagnosed or not. We want you to live your best life. And thus, we want you to be proactive in operating from a preventative understanding. Put your boundaries in place now. Build your support network now. Commit yourself to doing something different. And please absolutely vote. All of it affects who's in office and how sympathetic or empathetic they're going to be to the plight of our dear families who are out here struggling with matters of mental health and mental health exposure. We can all do something different. We can all use our power for good. The coalition that we formed, the Healthy DC and Me Leadership Coalition. We've just opened an office in the Prince George's County, Maryland office, right across the border from DC, because we've got to take a well-rounded approach at this. 
far too many are still suffering in this pandemic. Our coalition is building a trauma and wellness center. And actually, we're building a standalone emergency level two trauma and wellness center. Because enough is enough. It's just not enough to talk about it. It's time to be about it. Did you feel as I felt watching our dear Mr. George Floyd when we saw that tape? It is time for us to take our power back. It is time for us to hold ourselves accountable to the matters in our community and within ourselves that have to be addressed. Our health is our wealth. This is Dr. Rhonda L. Hamilton, and I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. Please do your work out there. Yours is a life worth loving, and yours is a life worth living. SAMHSA's research says that if we don't live a well-balanced life, then we are going to shortchange the years on our life. Don't take my word for it. (sighs) SAMHSA did the research. We're just getting this message out because knowledge is power. And we intend to help save some lives. Extend them, at least. Guys, if you want to know more about anything that you hear me speaking on, I'd love for you to follow us. Uh, We have several platforms. Boy, do I have several platforms. Let's see. CapitalCityEmergency.org is the website that helps you to understand all of the wonderful information thus far regarding our Trauma Center Project progress. And uh, we'd love for you to follow the movement. Um, And we'd love for you to be there today that we cut the ribbon. We are shooting for spring 2023 for a delivery date. And so we have a lot of building, a lot of meetings, a lot of planning, a lot of development is still underway. And you still have much opportunity to get involved. Uh, MIMothersKeeper.com. MIMothers with an S. Keeper.com is our mental health advocacy platform. Please check it out. You'll understand our work. And when you understand our work, please Stop by the Donate Now button and help us to bless a family. Because after all, it is Giving Tuesday. And we're just asking you to consider this. If you'd like to know more about our coalition, you can go to healthydcandme.org. That's Healthy DC. Spell the word and me out. So that's healthydcandme.org. Sorry about that. For more information on the coalition, our Palms Up, our wonderful Palms Up, all hands on deck, time to help one another. Our Palms Up podcast is live on Facebook, 7 p.m. on Tuesday evenings. We'd love for you to look up Dr. Rondell Hamilton on Facebook, MI is me. Um, And My Mother's Keeper are all relative platforms that will lead you to our messaging. Guys, we're out here. We're doing the work. We love your support. And we appreciate your time. Mental health matters. Please, until we meet again, until we speak again, make an effort to mindfully make a difference. And not only your life, but in life of the community's members around us. We can't do this work alone, nor do we want to. On this Giving Tuesday, we're challenging you to help us get this word out in our community. Because if not us, then who? And remember, if not now, then when? So many are suffering. We've lost so many. Help us help a family. Your donations are tax deductible. And we're already receiving donations. How wonderful. God bless you out there. As I was saying, your donations are tax deductible. We love your support. And we love for you to stick around and follow the movement. Be there with us when we cut the ribbon on our trauma center. Share the platform. Help us make a difference mindfully in the communities around us. 
God bless you all. Thank you in advance for your generous heart. And remember, mental health matters.